customers of defunct savings and loans companies have cast doubt over government's ability to pay them in full. Now, this follows the president's announcement in the State of the Nation address to begin payment February 24, which is on Monday. But the Association of Savings and Loans Companies have charged pessimists to remain calm while the set date for payment approaches. Government indicated it will disburse some 13.5 billion cities for the over 6 million customers affected in the financial sector cleanup. The Bank of Ghana revoked the licenses of nine universal banks, 347 microfinance companies, 39 microcredit companies and moneylenders, 15 savings and loans companies, eight finance house companies and two non-bank financial institutions which had already ceased operations. Customers have received many assurances from government on the payment of their funds, including the recent announcement of another payment by the receiver starting February 24. But President of the Association of the Affected Customers, Mubaraki Drisu, says they don't have confidence in this timeline. It is not a well-received news on the grounds it's not a well received news at all because there have been past promises until it is done nobody can trust the government we have to try, try to do every uh, possible means to check as to whether what the government said is true even though we are still in doubt for the association of the savings and loans companies the customers should be treated fairly as done to the customers of the commercial banks we don't have any difference between a customer of a universal bank and a customer of a savings and loans company they are all treated the same way because the customers of the universal bank had their monies in full and therefore if the customer of a savings and loans also have its money in full then it goes to buttress the point that um, every customer of a regulated financial institution is very important. Mubaraki Duiso is worried about the communication discrepancies between the receiver and government spokespersons and is advocating for swift process for the release of the funds. We are also struggling for our money and we are pleading with the government that if you migrate us, the, us, the way the CBG people, the, let me say Unibank and others, where the customers were paid in full. So we are pleading that the government should also migrate us also onto the CBG account and GCB account so that he can be able to deal with the millions of people swiftly. Executive Secretary of the Association of the Savings and Loans Companies, Chinebu Akodi Abuache, advised customers to be calm in order to allow the process to run. They having made the money available means that um, they, will, they can't say everybody come to the banking hall on Monday or Tuesday. Let's exercise patience. Let us give the benefit of the doubt that um, eventually everybody whose funds has been validated will get his money. The funds will be received at some branches of the Consolidated Bank Ghana Limited.